right, today I'm going to go over my watch list, uh, 12 7, December 7th. First, of course, we got to start here with Unusual Whales. Um, best way to get some flow that'll help me build my watch list. All right, the first play I have here is Riot. Um, these two calls definitely stick out, but this right here is definitely a little weird. 115 call on a 121 has a bunch of volume for that high and a bunch of open interest, so that's something that really interests me, as well as this 85 call. Um, we also have a 25 put on the downside, which is a nice move down. All right, for my levels, um, so the first one on the top side, 29.10. Um, this is off this retest here of a low on the 15. Um, and then on the low side, this 27.8 with this double bottom here and here um, that gives us a downside move for, for this 25 put. And over this, I like a 31, 30 call um, as well, which is a nice move. For the second one, we got a Neo here. This first one that sticks out is this 25 put. Neo finished it at 32. Um, so a 25 put's a pretty big move. We also have this 30 put getting a lot of action, as well as a 35 call. So this can play either way. Um, decent moves either way, which is a big one I like. Um, so I like that a lot. And then for our levels. Alright, for our levels, I like this more based off of the the um, one hour chart. So I'm going to look at that a little bit more extensively. Get a little breakdown. Alright, so right here on the upside, I like this 33.05 for calls. Um, I thought about moving it up here, but even then we missed a 27 point move. Um, but our big resistance is, of course, up here around 34.02 to the 34 area so that's still a decent move um and then on the bottom side use this big candle here same up and down uh the 31.6 for puts underneath and that can run let's see this one went down to 29.6 so that can run even more um based on it and neo's been beating down a lot so either we're getting a bounce play here or a continuation down Alright, so our third play I like on here is uh, DKNG DraftKings. Um, one thing I noticed is this 28 put, which is good levels as well um, under that. And then we also have these two calls here, even as high as 32. It goes up to 35, but these two calls here interest me more, 30-31 call, because um, I feel like those are more you know in the range. That 32 call does look nice, some good volume. 5,700 to 2,800, decent. Not too bad of a bid spread as well. That's nice. All right, for our levels, all right, for our levels, I'm gonna use this 15 minute chart. So we do have this VWAP that's measured off of the volume profile here, um, which actually I like this level. Um, on the upside, I'm gonna do 31.25. We have multiple bottoms here, and then it retests here before ultimately knifing. Um, so I like that level for a call and then under nine, underneath this 29.85 level also can give us a really big move. Um, our first key area would be about 28.5. Um, so that's a dollar move, which is nice for sure. Alright, and then our last play here is Disney. Um, so things that really stick out right here, this 150 call, decent volume, but then... We get down to the 170 call, which is, let's see, two weeks out, but that's $20. Um, and then we have next week getting hit hard. Even this week's 155 is getting hit pretty good. But we have this put here, um, 165 as well. Um, these, this one sticks out a lot more, um, but I like this because it can go either way. Either we're going to bounce or another continuation down play. Um, Disney's a pretty, pretty decent company as well. So I like, I like this. If we can bounce, I think it has more potential for sure. But my levels on this, all right, I'm going to go to the, let's go to the one hour chart to see these a little bit better. All right. So my thinking here is, right, so we have this, it's a, it's a pretty decent flag pattern. Um, I thought about, you know, using the top of this, but 
There's a bunch of support and resistance lines that used to be here, so they're going to act as resistance lines. So I'm going to wait until it gets over that and play this 151.5, which was tested once, twice, one, two, three, four, five times um, in order to play that. We also have a nice little volume gap here on the hourly. Um, but on the 15 minute, I'm going to use this for the puts more. I'm going to go under 149.45. I'll play the puts. We have a nice volume gap here to 148.3 area as well, which is nice. Let's see the high on this. 148.3, nice. Um, so that's also one one and a little move down, um, which is definitely something to watch. But that 148.3 is definitely a big level. We have one, two, three tests, and then it becomes a support line. Um, so make sure to watch that for sure. But as always, you know, we're going to wait for that five minute close above or below our target in order to, you know, enter the trade, make some money. So let's kill it.